life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Alabama has made some sort of discovery with the assistance of his wonderful roan horse, which leads him to believe that there's oil to be found on the Red Horse Ranch. He confided his belief in the boys, but made them promise not to tell either Mr. Carter or Rose. He refused to explain what sort of discovery he had made. Let's join Rose and Mr. Carter as they're riding across the range of the Red Horse Ranch. Well, Rose, that herd out there ain't like some we've had on this Red Horse Ranch after our trouble with the cattle rustlers this year. Uh, only a few head of cattle are left. Oh, don't worry, Dad. Gee, it's a beautiful day. I just feel as though everything is going to be all right now. Well, I don't know, daughter. Your old dad feels mighty helpless. Oh, dad. Ain't even so much as move my own herd off the ranch with the sheriff ready to serve an attachment again. But, Dad, haven't you noticed? Why, even the boys are happy today. Why, they don't act as all, as though all their hope's gone. Easy, Prince. No, you can't keep that spirits down very long. I can hear them there now over on the other side of the herd. Yes, I hear them, too. They're singing, as usual. Yes. Nothing much left for them to do, as I can see. Yet they stay right here in this ranch with no ideas where the next pays are coming from. Oh, don't feel that way, Dad. Come on, let's ride over and join the boys. <laughs> they seem to be having such a good time. Get up, Prince. All right, Rose.
Well, bust my buttons if they ain't Rose and Mr. Carter. Where'd you all come from? Hello, boys. Whoa, friends. Mind if we stop a while? Well, I guess we don't mind. Drop your horse's reins there. <laughs> hey, you boys call this the way to herd cattle? <laughs> well, I don't reckon it is, Dad, but the cattle don't seem to mind. Well, well, I guess the they only don't. thing these cows don't like is Arizona singing. Well, when the sheriff gets his attachment served on this herd, he can sing to them all he likes. <laughs> uh, listen, boys, we want you to play some more. Please go ahead. It ain't going to be so long now till that rodeo in Danville. That's right. <laughs> and believe me, this red horse outfit is going to walk away with the honors up there, too. Say, Alabama, yeah. you can enter red in the races, can't you? You bet I can, Rose, and red will show them, too. Oh, I know it. <laughs> I'll find out just when that rodeo's to be when I ride into town. What's oh, that, Alabama? Uh, You're riding to Danville? Oh, I, yes. I thought I'd ride in tomorrow or the next day. As long as there isn't anything doing around here, why... But Alabama, I expect you to stay here with the herd while it's here. While it's still in my name, we've got to do everything we can to save what's left. Well, yes, I know, Mr. Carter, but the rest of the well, boys will I be... I think Dad's right, Alabama. Why do you want to go to Danville now? Why... Well, I just thought I might get a letter. A which letter? I... Well, I didn't know you I were... figured the rest of us can watch this little herd of cows till Alabama gets back, Dad. Sure, and keep the sheriff away. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I know uh, I shouldn't say anything now as loyal as you've all been to me, uh, uh, just as you say, Alabama. Well, thanks, Mr. Carter. It's mighty important to me just now. Well, Alabama, as long as you're going, why couldn't I ride with you? Well, uh, I just count on Tenderfoot and me going in this time, Rose, if you don't mind. Oh, of course, if you don't want me, Oh, I... it ain't that, Rose. It's just that, well, I'll have to explain it to you later. Oh, you don't have to explain anything to me, Alabama. Come on, Dad. I think we'd better be going. But, Rose, I want... Goodbye, boys. Come on, Prince. Let's go. Oh, so long, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye, Dad. Dad. Well, well, look like you've got yourself in Dutch with the boss's daughter, Alabama. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. Did you say something about a letter in Danville, Alabama? I reckon I did, Idaho. A mighty important letter. A little other business, too. It ain't got anything to do with what you told us the other night, has it? About your thinking there's oil on this Red Horse Ranch? Well, Idaho, if you don't mind, I'd rather not say any more about that till I'm right sure. I'll be hanged if I know why I stay around this lot like I do. Seems like everybody's gone loco. Go on and sing something before I blow up. Dear old western skies, I want to go where the longhorn cattle roam. Dear old western skies, they'll never be another place like my old home. Seems that I can hear the cattle lowing. Seems that I can see the purple sage blowing. I hope, obeyed and I will herd the cattle
place like my old home. Seems that I can hear the cattle lowing. Seems that I can see the purple sage blowing. I hope, oh pain and I will hurt the cattle by and by under dear old western skies. Dear old western skies, I want to go. be wandering on back to the house. Carter's going to have a lot of questions to ask me. Some of the rest of us will be in before long, Alabama. All right. We'll be seeing you. Uh, Alabama. Yeah, Idaho. You don't mind too much what I said. No. You go ahead and remember we're all with you, whatever you've got up your sleeve. Well, thanks, Idaho. But listen, boys, yeah. don't breathe a word to Carter or Rose or anyone about me thinking there's oil to be found on the Red Horse Ranch. I'm finding out for sure before I say any more. And Tenderfoot, yeah? you better come along in with me. Sure. We'll be riding for Danville tomorrow morning. You still think that's the thing to do, Alabama? Yeah, Idaho. I got a feeling that we're going to learn something that's mighty important to us all. Alabama seems to be pretty sure he'll learn more about Bradford when he rides to Danville, doesn't he? We'll want to know what this is, so let's be sure to listen. Listen. 